Hi, this is Sue Painter. I want to let you know how to check for when you go to a foreign country and whether you need a visa to get into that country. So this is where you can go. You go to travel.state.gov and you can look up any country and it will tell you as of this moment what the travel advisories are, what the alerts are, your passport validity, the vaccinations that are needed, and whether a visa is required. This information can change daily. So even though you may have checked whether you need a visa three or four months before you leave to go to a foreign country, you need to check it also uh, like a week before you leave because it can change without warning. So I am uh, planning a trip right now to Colombia <clears throat> and I wanted to see if we needed a visa. I didn't think we did, but I wanted to just um, check and see. So you can go to travel.state.gov and then you can look up the country that you need and you can see here for Colombia there, there was a travel advisory back in April to exercise increased caution um, and if you want to read more about that you can click it gives you an alert um, the last alert was August the 26th and it will then give you quick facts your passport must be valid at the time of entry, and this is important to know, you must have a blank passport page for an entry stamp. Now, sometimes if you travel a lot, uh, like we do, you will see that when you enter a country, they will put a stamp, although they less and less do that. They mostly scan your passport now. But you've got to have usually one clean page with no other entry stamps on it, or you will have to get extra pages added to your passport before you go. As you can see, I do not require a, a tourist visa if I'm going to stay 90 days or less. These are the vaccinations that are recommended, and you must have these vaccinations at least 10 days before you arrive in Colombia. This is telling you that you cannot bring more than $10,000 of U.S. money into that country. You cannot exit with more than $10,000. And there's all kinds of other things that you can get here. There's a fact sheet. There's talks about health, travel, and transportation. I don't really need any of that. It will also tell you where the, the U.S. Embassy is for United States citizens. In this case, uh, it, it's in Bogota, which is the capital of Colombia. So now I know that I do not need a visa. I know that I need at least one empty page in my passport for them to put their entry stamp. And so that's how you check whether you need um, a visa for the country to which you are going. Oftentimes, if you do need a visa, you will be able to apply for that online ahead of time and um, uh, you know get that taken care of. You always have to get that done before you leave the United States. Or when you get to where you're going, if they require a visa and you don't have one, there's a good chance you will be de denied admission to the country and you'll have to turn right around and go back home um, on the airplane. So you don't want that to happen to you. So this is where you want to go, travel.state.gov. And that's it for now. That's today's travel tip. I would like to invite you to go to travelchangeslife.com and not only can you read about uh, my, my different travel blogs there, but you can also go to uh, download, give me your name and your email address and we'll send you a perfect packing list. You can also follow on Pinterest, uh, Travel Changes Life for a lot of other information and pictures of travels. This is Sue with TravelChangesLife.com. Bye-bye.